about entrepreneurs and why am I here? Because Odessa asked me. <laughs> Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that's one of the secrets to success. If you don't ask, you are not G-E-T. Am I right about it? So sometimes ask and it shall be given it to you. She called my office, talked to my assistant, sent an email, and I, I said, my assistant said, you know what, do you want to do this? And I said, yes. And she said, okay. And, I, and we just sit back and said, I'm coming. She said, will you speak? I said, yes. <laughs> and I thought, y'all know, for those who don't know, I am not the Kmart speaker. Yes. <laughs> my speaking fee is five figures. But I am honored to be here tonight just to pour into people who have a heart like I do. An entrepreneurial spirit. Now, real quick, I'm getting y'all out of here, but we, I want y'all, we're going to come, come some other time, we'll do a big program, and I'm going to do more stuff. I'm going to do stuff for the Prince George's Chamber. I love y'all. You know I love y'all. I'm going to do some more stuff locally because I want to pour into my community. If you hear me on WHUR every morning, hopefully you hear me every day at 5.55. If you don't hear me, get up early and hear me and go back to bed, all right? But I want to pour into people. I'm an entrepreneur. I love that about you, Doris, that you're an entrepreneur. Sister Penda, you're an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who determines and designs their destiny. Become the CEO of YOU Incorporated. <laughs> if you work for somebody, give them more than they pay you to give. Do more than you're paid to do. Go further than you're paid to go. Give more than you're expected to give, because I found it to be true that if you do more than you're paid to do, one day you'll be paid more than you do. <laughs> Create a reputation for excellence. My new book is called An Attitude of Excellence. And then I talk about the fact that you must develop a reputation for excellence that precedes you. So I want to encourage you to that. Second thing I want to encourage you is about this downturn, this economic crisis. Crisis is what we hear people talk about. But understand the definition of the word crisis. It has dual meaning. And one meaning it means great danger. But at the same time, it means great opportunity. So, I think back to when I was just getting started speaking. Struggling. Struggling to keep the lights on. Struggling to pay the bills. Struggling so much that I had to go down to a phone company and beg them not to turn off my phone. Just give me a couple more weeks. Finally, get a speech for somebody going to pay me. I was excited. Orlando, Florida. I go to Orlando, give the speech. People give me a standing ovation. I'm so excited. They give me my check. I look at it. It's everything they promised. I'm enthused. I get on the plane coming back. I pull out the check, look at it again, and I get depressed. <laughs> for that money was already allocated. <laughs> Anybody ever got paid before you can get it to the bank? You know it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I start having a pity party right there. <laughs> Crying to myself. This older gentleman is sitting across the aisle from me. He must have sensed that I was struggling. He started asking me questions, asked me a few conversational questions. We start a conversation. During the conversation, though, he said something to me that literally changed my life. He said, Young man, how old do you think I am? I looked at him, I said, I think you're about 60. He took off his glasses, he looked in my eye, he said, Young man, I'm 88 years old. Wow. I'm 88, and my best is yet to come. <laughs> and in that moment, folks, everything shifted. Because if an 88-year-old man can see that his best days are in front of him and not behind him, if he can have that kind of optimism, what in the world did I have to whine and cry and complain about? And I went home, and I got busy. I got on the phone and started making sales calls. And people say no, I say next. If they say they're not interested, I say you ain't the right one. I keep talking until somebody said yes. And I kept calling. And I'm proud to say that man was just right because 
see uh, just the tip of the iceberg. 17 years have gone by. I've been inducted into the Speaker Hall of Fame. I've been named one of the top five speakers of the world. I've got a syndicated radio show on XM. I've got best-selling books. But that man was right. It's just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible. Yes. Yes. Folks, I just came here today to tell you, your best is yet to come.